It started in the back of the aircraft where I was. Right when we finished refueling, uh, I went and uh, disconnected our system from his so that the two aircraft were separated, but we were only separated by about a foot uh, when the accident happened. Couldn't really tell what was going on. The engine just started violently shaking. There were sparks flying, and uh, ev everything after that happened pretty quickly. Uh, the conditions that day were not good. There was a, a sandstorm. So we're flying as basically as slow as we possibly can, and they're flying as fast as they can, being in enemy territory, fully loaded, uh, very heavy, and not near a place to land. Uh, as bad a situation as you can possibly think of. We've got a million radios chirping in our ears. So you could hear the receiver pilot's voice inflection, like getting higher, getting very stressed. So he, we heard him mention, you know, possibility of ejecting. At that moment, we were, we kind of became real. It was right on the heels of when the Jordanian F-16 went down. As you know, he was captured by the enemy. It wasn't a good, a good ending for that story. So we were aware of the the threats on the ground. The radio calls that he was making at the time definitely sounded like um, ejecting was, was a high possibility. So we're trying to relay with air traffic control and our command and control um, in order to find them a safe place to land and, and keep them in sight in case they did have to eject. To see them actually land and taxi off the runway was a, was a pretty big relief. Uh, he's, got, he's got a reputation for bad luck, so uh, it turns out his, his call sign is Jinx. This is just a, a small glimpse of what actually goes on out there and it is a wide net of, of people helping people and getting the job done.